a young boy, after an encounter with extraterrestrial visitors to Earth, becomes determined to unravel the mystery behind their visit, only to discover a shocking revelation. In 1979, Carl, a man returning home from work in Wrangell, Alaska, witnesses an extraordinary event. While driving his truck, he sees his friend's truck in front of him being lifted into the sky. As their truck falls onto him, Carl rushes to check on them, only to spot a UFO flying overhead. Fearing for his safety, he flees into the jungle. To his astonishment, the UFO hovers directly above him, and a beam emerges, lifting him off the ground and leaving his body rigid. In the contemporary era, Isaac Cypress arrives at a NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory where he is employed. Engaging in a playful activity with his friend Beck, they use NASA satellites for a game where Beck transmits a signal, and Isaac must locate it. To their surprise, Isaac easily locates a signal, but Beck insists it wasn't the one he sent. Further investigation reveals that the signal originates from an unregistered source in Canada, raising questions as there are no officially recorded satellites in that location. For amusement, Isaac replicates the mysterious signal and challenges Beck to locate it later. During a late-night work session, Isaac's computer receives an enigmatic signal from space, containing seemingly random code that piques his curiosity. Following the advice of his therapist, Isaac begins documenting his experiences through a video diary, carrying his camera with him wherever he goes. While creating a video diary after a hike, Isaac's recording is abruptly interrupted by a meteor crashing nearby. Fighter jets scramble, and sirens wail in the distance, signaling the imminent closure of the entire region to the public. Sensing the urgency, Isaac conceals himself in the bushes to avoid being apprehended by authorities. Stealthily, he navigates towards the crash site and discovers a UFO. As he activates his camera to document the extraordinary sight, the UFO mysteriously vanishes. Startled, Isaac turns around to find an alien discreetly standing behind him. Swiftly, he presses the record button on his camera. The alien gazes at Isaac briefly before nonchalantly walking away. Seizing the opportunity, Isaac makes a hasty escape, only to black out midway through his run. Upon awakening three days later in a completely different location, he checks his camera and finds footage capturing the alien encounter and the surreal moment of himself being lifted off the ground. Returning home, Isaac notices a peculiar mark on his arm. As he sits on his bed, deep in contemplation, he gazes at his TV, only to witness it vanish before his eyes. Intrigued, he extends his hand towards the spot where the TV once stood, realizing that his hand passes through an invisible barrier, seemingly into another dimension. Focusing on the spot, he successfully brings the TV back. A revelation strikes him. Isaac is the one causing these objects to disappear. To confirm his newfound ability, he repeats the experiment with his camera. Concerned about the strange occurrence, Isaac visits a doctor who conducts an X-ray on his arm. The results reveal a perfectly straight fracture, resembling a cut made by a knife rather than a typical break. Isaac, now aware of his unique capability, decides to demonstrate it to Beck at work showcasing his ability to make objects vanish into other dimensions. Surprisingly, only Isaac possesses the ability to perceive objects moving into other dimensions. Beck remains unable to see this phenomenon. Isaac, eager to share his discoveries, shows Beck the footage of the alien encounter, leaving Beck in a state of shock. Proposing to show the footage to their other co-worker, Isaac faces resistance from Beck, who deems it an inadvisable idea. Frustrated by the lack of understanding, Isaac decides to take matters into his own hands. Upon returning home, he uploads the footage to an internet website with the caption, Alien Abduction Footage. The following morning, Isaac receives a wake-up call from a news anchor expressing interest in featuring a story on his video. Checking the video, he discovers it has garnered nearly a million views overnight, accompanied by a diverse array of opinions in the comments section. Some viewers believe in its authenticity, while others dismiss it as fake. Throughout the day, Isaac fields calls from various news agencies and magazines, all seeking interviews. Eventually succumbing to the pressure, he decides to appear on a news channel to share his extraordinary experience with the world. During the interview, Isaac shares the footage and narrates the entire account of his abduction, hoping to unveil the truth. However, the interviewer derides Isaac, casting doubt on the authenticity by suggesting it's too convenient that he happened to have a camera during the alien encounter. In the following days, Isaac's story proliferated across the media landscape, sparking a divisive reaction. While some people rally behind him, others accuse him of fabricating the entire incident for attention. Undeterred, Isaac delves into online articles about abduction stories, discovering striking similarities with his own experience. Intrigued, he reaches out to a girl named Sarah, who shares a similar narrative, and they arrange to meet. 
In their meeting, Isaac enlightens Sarah about the prevalence of alien encounters on Earth, pointing to historical paintings depicting such events and scientists claiming mysterious signals from space. Sarah, curious, questions Isaac about the alien abduction of 1979 in Wrangell, Alaska. Isaac admits that he doesn't know about the alien abduction of 1979 in Wrangell, Alaska. In response, Sarah reveals that a man named Carl, who was abducted, went missing after deciding to share his story publicly. Motivated by this information, Isaac decides to disseminate copies of his footage to online platforms collecting abduction reports. While depositing them in a mailbox, Isaac is joined by a man named Keith, who offers assistance. Keith, identifying himself as a writer, sympathizes with Isaac's plight and expresses discontent with the media's negative portrayal. He proposes crafting a detailed story where Isaac can present his side. Pondering Keith's offer overnight, Isaac decides to proceed. Upon arriving at Keith's office the next morning, the writer suggests enhancing the credibility of Isaac's story by subjecting him to a lie detector test. Isaac agrees, and Keith guides him through the process. As Isaac truthfully answers questions about his abduction, Keith's demeanor becomes tense. Abruptly leaving the office without explanation, Keith's departure prompts Isaac to follow, only to witness two men, dressed like agents, approaching down the hallway. Isaac attempts to flee, but the agents shoot him, causing him to lose consciousness. Upon awakening, he finds himself being dragged by two androids into a sterile white room, where he is securely tied to a chair. To his dismay, he sees Sarah being similarly taken away within the facility. The screen in front of Isaac flickers to life, revealing that Keith's true identity is Agent Graves. Graves explains that they are going to evaluate the extent of Isaac's exposure. Various objects are presented to Isaac, with instructions to focus on them, but nothing occurs as he complies. Frustrated, Isaac ceases cooperation and demands answers about their location and Sarah's whereabouts. Graves, posing a question about Carl, receives a false denial from Isaac, who then breaks free from the chair. Engaging in a fierce struggle against the androids, Isaac manages to escape. As he flees, he glimpses Sarah in a room and somehow utilizing his mind, opens the door for her. Together, they evade the androids' gunfire, successfully fleeing the facility. To their surprise, they realize they are now in Costa Rica. Graves issues orders to his men, instructing them to tail Sarah and Isaac, anticipating their quest to locate Carl. Determined to find Carl, Isaac expresses his belief that accessing the internet might provide the key. A local woman in a restaurant points them to Zed, a man capable of granting them internet access. Upon meeting Zed, an expert hacker and tech enthusiast, the androids arrive, prompting a hasty departure. Zed guides them to his secluded jungle home, where an untraceable internet connection awaits. During their journey, Zed reveals that the androids are operatives of the International Space Research Program, ISRP, a highly classified agency. Despite Zed's formidable hacking skills, no trace of Carl can be found on the internet or in government records. Isaac recalls the peculiar signal detected in Canada, sparking a new lead in their pursuit. They breach NASA servers to trace the origin of the mysterious signal, successfully uncovering Carl's location. Zed reveals there's a functional laptop in his house that they can reach. Initiating a video call, Zed, with a bit of hacking finesse, connects with Carl's laptop. Isaac seizes the opportunity to quickly relay his abduction story before Carl can terminate the call. Mentioning that he sent a copy of Carl's signal into space and received a response, Isaac piques Carl's interest. Though initially resistant, Carl relents, allowing Isaac to show him the received response. Carl decrypts the random code within the message, playing an audio recording that reveals an alien voice specifying a time and location for their arrival, five days hence, at Carl's house. Abruptly shutting down his computer, Carl insists they must go to his house. While Sarah hesitates, Zed eagerly expresses his desire to join. Leveraging his connections in Costa Rica, Zed secures a private plane for them to fly to Canada, setting the stage for the unfolding extraterrestrial encounter. Simultaneously, Graves has discreetly implanted trackers in Sarah and Isaac, diligently trailing their every move. Following an arduous journey, Zed, Sarah, and Isaac finally reach Carl's residence. Initially suspicious, Carl eventually welcomes them, disclosing that he too was abducted by the ISRP after his initial encounter. Managing to escape, Carl has spent two decades in hiding, dedicating himself to creating programs capable of translating alien codes into audio and subsequently into English. As they await the alien's arrival over the next two days, Sarah and Isaac forge a connection, exploring the woods together, while Zed delves into Carl's intriguing equipment. On the anticipated day of the alien's arrival, 
Isaac senses the ground shifting, prompting Carl to explain that the phenomenon signals the alien's proximity. Determined to make contact, Isaac ventures into the woods and indeed encounters the extraterrestrial beings. Initiating a conversation, he inquires about their intentions. Subsequently, they all convene with the aliens, activating Carl's translation device to facilitate communication and unravel the mystery surrounding their visit. The extraterrestrial beings convey that they have achieved total dominance in medicine, physics, technology, and all sciences. Yet, they now seek something beyond, a quest for the origin of the universe. Puzzled, Isaac questions why they are studying humans. The aliens respond, revealing that humans possess a unique aura that can be measured. To elucidate, the aliens present Isaac with a vision of Jesus and inquire about the man's identity. Isaac wonders about the aliens' interest in him. They reveal a belief in a connection between Jesus and the universe's origin, suggesting a tie to human auras. Sarah, curious about their arm marks, discovers hidden trackers. The aliens clarify they implanted these for records. They share a profound insight, explaining that while Isaac's world values seeing to believe, they've learned believing is the key to seeing, a realization gained after their advanced evolution. As Graves and his men demand Carl's presence, a startling revelation emerges. Graves nurses a personal vendetta as Carl's abduction involved the truck carrying Graves' father. Demanding answers, Graves orders his men to open fire, escalating the tension. In the chaos, Sarah rushes to Carl's aid but is also shot. The alien guides Isaac to focus, transporting the entire house to another dimension. Isaac successfully brings everyone with him, escaping Graves and his men. Utilizing their powers, the aliens heal both Sarah and Carl. Seizing the moment, they walk past the incapacitated graves and make their escape in the alien UFO. Six months later, Isaac and Sarah have begun a new life on a distant island, now a couple. Meanwhile, Zed and Carl have established their underground tech agency. Graves faces the consequences of his actions and is dismissed from ISRP due to his unlawful behavior at Carl's house. Isaac continues his regular video diaries, marking the conclusion of their extraordinary journey.